Today we're going to put our own toolkit together to keep under the bike seat when you're touring. So, there are two main restrictions when building a toolkit. One is the space you have under your seat, the ability to carry your tools. And secondly, is uh, your ability to fix the bike. If you can't fix the bike, then it's pointless wasting the space with the tools. Except if you're riding with a group, because there might be one knowledgeable person in the group that can help you. So, uh, let's begin. We're going to start with spares. Now, with spares, I suggest you carry a spare front and a spare rear light. Indicators I wouldn't worry too much because you can give arm signals so it's perfectly fine until you can get to a garage. And uh, recently I had a fuel line burst so uh, ever since I've been carrying spare pipe, two different sizes. And uh, it's always a safe bet to carry a couple of cable ties. Next we're going to take a look at maintenance. Now, I don't know how practical it's going to be to change a brake pad at the side of the road, but uh, since it's only a matter of carrying one Allen key, it's worth having it on you. So we're going to go around, measure up everything we might, uh, might need, and then we're going to take that with us. So, let's just go over what we've covered so far. So we've got a pair of gloves so we don't get our hands dirty. We've got some chain lube. We've got our lights, torch, knife, screwdrivers, spanners for adjusting the chain, uh, rear wheel nut socket, Allen keys, obviously the obvious essentials, some tube, and then we've got a couple extra bits that I'm throwing in. Now we've got some split pins, some uh, duct tape, long nose pliers, and an adjustable spanner. Of course, um, we don't have an exact use for this, but it can serve for many different things. For example, just uh, the oil cap here, let's say that's a bit tight, you can put it on and then uh, use it for leverage to get it off. And uh, another thing that's helpful with this one is it's got on there millimeter settings. So uh, we can use it to measure the distance on both sides for the rear chain and uh, make sure it's accurate and the wheel's not unlevel. So, uh, very useful. So, the last thing to talk about is flat tyres. Now, always carry a tyre gauge, that way you can measure uh, how much pressure is in your tyre and if it's got enough. And then uh, you've got a couple options to top up. You've got uh, these hand size compressors, very small, but uh, obviously electronics are bulky and they can and may fail. And then you've got CO2 cartridges, which are probably the smallest, most effective way to top your tyre up. And then if you get a puncher, you've got a plug kit, or you've got tyre sealant, but make sure your tyre sealant is suitable for motorbikes. And that covers our toolkit. So, now we've completed our toolkit and it all fits comfortably under the bike seat. Uh, I've wrapped it all in a towel because I can use the towel for wiping my hands and uh, of course it stops the tools from rattling. We've got our torch, chain lube, bulbs, everything else in the middle there, the electrical setup. So um, yeah, the only thing I have replaced is this 32 millimeter socket. And the main reason for that is a spanner's far better and it's not gonna break the, uh, the ratchet when trying to adjust the chain. So we've got rid of that and replaced it. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video.